the inspirational motivator for you on this terrific Tuesday. Now let's get to the root of your problem. Today, I wanna to talk to you guys about taking a seat. Taking a seat. You say, Dr. Short, what are you talking about taking a seat? Well, in my spirit, I believe that some of you guys, or many of you guys, are just worried. Worried about your job, worried about getting sick with the flu, worried about your finances, just worried. And God told me to tell you, it's time to take a seat. It's time to take a seat. It's time to sit down in Christ Jesus. Did you know a seat is the place of authority? Did you know when Jesus rose up and went back to heaven, God allowed him to be seated at the right hand of the Father? And guess what? Ephesians 2, 6 says that when Jesus rose up from the grave, we rose up with him. And as believers, we are at the right hand of the Father in Christ Jesus seated. That's a position of authority. That's a position of rest. And that's a position of power. Let me repeat that. Being seated in Christ Jesus is a position of authority, a position of rest, and a position of power. So let's break down that word authority. The word authority means that you have the ability to command a blessing. You have the ability to be able to speak to that situation and it must change. You say, Dr. Short, what if it doesn't change? Well, let me ask you this, what if it does? What do you lose by speaking to that situation if it doesn't change? You don't lose anything. But I can tell you, just because you don't see it change doesn't mean that it's not changing. It reminds me of an eagle. See, when an eagle lays an egg, the eagle don't get worried and try to peek into the egg every day to see if that eaglet is in there. No, the eagle is pre-programmed. The eagle is designed to know how to take a seat. Come on, Holy Spirit. On that egg, on that nest. Because eventually in time, he knows or she knows that there will be a baby eagle come out of that. It's taking a seat. It gives that eagle not only just a position of authority, a position of power, and a position of rest, but also a position of confidence. Some of you guys don't have confidence because you're not seated. You're running around, you're trying to make it happen for yourself, you're trying to do this, you're trying to do that, and you're not taking your seat. In other words, you're not listening to what the Spirit of God is telling you to do. Sometimes the Spirit of God is going to tell you to go and go fast as you can. And sometimes the Spirit of God will tell you to slow down. And sometimes the Spirit of God will tell you to stop and be seated. See, because when you stop and be seated, guess what happens? The Spirit of God is working through you and working for you. And eventually that thing that you're believing for will be hatched and it will come out the nest just like the baby eaglet. Take a seat. See, you are getting so frustrated because you're so worried about what other people are doing and you feel like you got to go and work extra hard. You got to feel like you got to work two, three, four, five jobs. You got to do this, that, and the third in order to get ahead. No, that's not the way God has designed it. See, God has designed it to be, it's an upside down kingdom. See, when we rest, God goes to work. And again, I'm not saying being lazy. I'm not saying you know, quit the job, you just sit at home and just wait for a check to come in the mail. No, I'm not saying that. I'm talking about a spiritual position of rest. I'm talking about going to work, knowing that your coworkers are hating you, going to work and you know that you may not make any production, but you're going to work in that still confidence in your heart, knowing that God is going to supply all my needs according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. Going to work knowing that no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Going to work knowing that I'm more than a conqueror in Christ Jesus who gives me strength. Going to work knowing that I understand that my work is a source, but my work is not my resource. See, I had to do that just yesterday. I looked at the schedule and just about everybody canceled. And I was like, Lord, <laughs> thank you for my job. I thank you for my occupation. I thank you that this is my resource but it's not my source my source comes from you so guess what I did I sat down and I rested spiritually I rested in the promises of God 
I took a seat. See, even in the Old Testament, there's something called the mercy seat. The mercy seat was a gold uh, covering over the Ark of the Covenant. And every year, the priest would come out and sprinkle blood on it to you know, atone for the sins of all the people. Well, Jesus now has become our mercy seat. Jesus' blood shed on the cross is the reason why we get access to God's mercy. So even on your worst day, even if you just blew it, man, guess what? God's mercy seat, who is Christ Jesus, is more than enough to take care of the sins and issues that you're dealing with. So you don't have to take that on yourself. Again, I'm not saying don't take responsibility for your actions. You shouldn't take responsibility for your actions because that's the only way you're going to grow. But even through that, knowing that you're not alone, knowing that the Holy Spirit is working in you and through you, when you are seated in the promises of God, take a seat. I know many of you guys are worried about, you know, oh man, this is starting a new year, getting ready to start a new year. I'm trying to get on my workout plan and man, I just got injured. You know, I just hurt my foot so I can't even run. How many guys out there that you were getting ready to get your workout plan going on and then you got injured, you're trying to figure out, man, how in the world am I going to do this now? I'm injured. My arm hurt, my shoulder hurt, I hurt my back, I hurt my foot. <laughs> I know I'm talking to somebody else out there. I know it ain't just me. You know, when I was running yesterday outside, I was having a great time and I, I stepped on some kind of rock and man, I got up this morning, my foot was on fire. I mean, it was hurt. I, had to, I ain't gonna even lie, I had to take some motion. I'm like, Lord, how in the world am I gonna work out now? I'm limping around here. And he said, take a seat. I said, well, Lord, how am I going to take a seat and still burn some calories? And the Holy Spirit was like, well, don't you have a stationary bike? I'm like, yeah. He said, get on that bad boy. So I got on my stationary bike and I was able to burn some calories. And guess what? My foot didn't hurt. See? Taking a seat. Say, I took a seat. Listen to what the Holy Spirit was telling me. And I was still to be able to get a decent workout in. Now, would I rather run? Absolutely. But guess what? At the time, I had to do what I had to do. I had to take a seat. I had to sit down. And like Kendrick say, be humble. Sit down. Be humble. <laughs> so, man, I'm just telling you, man, a lot of us just ripping and running trying to do this and that man and god is just wanting us to take a seat man god did you know god will fight our battles if we take a seat god will fight your battles beloved if you just take a seat because you are seated ephesians 2 6 at the right hand of the father in christ jesus then that means that the whole world becomes your footstool. What does that mean by your whole world becomes your footstool? That means you don't have to worry about nothing because God is going to take care of you. His presence is going to take care of you. He's going to speak through you and he's going to tell you what your next steps are. That's why you never ever as a believer have to be worried about anything. You never have to be worried about anything because the Bible says that we cast our cares on Jesus because he cares for us. And we do it when we do that. That's a position of rest. That's a position of authority. That's a position of peace. How many of you guys right now need peace in your life? Peace in your home. Peace in your marriage. Peace in your relationship. Oh my God. Peace on your job. Some of you guys are catching hell on your job. That crazy coworker. That coworker that's eyeing up your man, or that coworker trying to flirt with your wife. <laughs> was not yours in the beginning. Come on now. See, nobody can take something that belongs to someone else unless they give it to them. I'm going to leave that alone. I'm going I'm to I'm leave that alone. I don't want to go down that, that rabbit trail. But anyway, take a seat, man, on this terrific Tuesday. I just want to encourage you, man. Take a seat. Do your best and trust God with the rest. Take a seat. Do your best and trust God 
with the rest. And when you're seated in Christ Jesus, let me tell you, when you're seated, when you're in that position of rest and position of authority, con confess the scriptures of your life. Profess the scriptures of your life. Confess that you are the head and not the tail. Confess that you are above and not beneath. Confess that you are a lender and not a borrower. Confess that God is going to perfect everything that concerns you. Profess by Jesus Christ stripes you're healed. Confess and profess these things because these are the promises of God that he made available for you when you take a seat. Take a seat today on this terrific Tuesday. If you don't hear anything else I'm saying, just remember when you take a seat, when you take a seat, you are positioned in authority. You're positioned in power. And you're positioned in peace. And nobody can disturb you in that secret place of the Most High. Ephesians 2 6, you were co raised with Christ Jesus, seated in Christ Jesus at the right hand of the Father. You way up there, man. Don't let anybody disturb your seat. Grace life. Peace.